Hi, everyone. My name is Jeff Adams, and I'm here with another Nixie AT Team Tech Tip. So today we're going to look at how to use the guided access feature of the iPad within the YouTube app. So the first thing that I need to do is go ahead and switch over to my iPad. Okay, now that I'm on my iPad, I'm going to turn on guided access. To do this, I'm gonna go into my settings. I'm gonna go down here on the left and scroll down till I get to accessibility. I'm gonna scroll up, I guess, or down, however you wanna look at this, but at the bottom here in accessibility, I'm gonna to get to guided access. I'm going to click over here on the right and I'm going to turn that on. Once I toggle that on, these other settings pop up. You notice that one of them is passcode settings. Ultimately, we're gonna to have to set a passcode to keep the user within the guided access feature. Uh, we can do that later, which is what we're gonna do, uh, but we could do that now if we wanted to. I do wanna make note of the definition that, has, that it shows right here under guided access. It says guided access keeps the iPad in a single app and allows you to control which features are available. To start guided access, we triple click the home button in the app you want to use. So when we get to the YouTube app, we are going to triple click our home button or belly button, whatever you'd like to call it on your iPad. And that will pull up the accessibility shortcut that we have, and we will find guided access there. And I'll be showing you that here in a couple seconds. Um, if you have a newer uh, iPad or iPhone, you don't have the home button uh, like the older iPads have. To, to triple click, you would use the side button of your iPad or iPhone to be able to get to your accessibility shortcuts. Okay, so I'm gonna close out my settings. I'm gonna to go to my YouTube app and I'm gonna click on my YouTube app, open that up and I have a video set ready to go. Um, I am going to go to max screen. So see this little box here where my cursor is, I'm gonna click on that and go to full screen. I'm gonna triple click the home button of my iPad to pull up my accessibility shortcuts to be able to pull up, pull up, uh, turn on my guided access. So my accessibility shortcuts pop up. I'm gonna choose guided access. When I do that, it's gonna take me into guided access and allow me now to set up the features that I'd like to have uh, within my guided access. So uh, as it says here at the bottom, circle areas on the screen you would like to disable. So I can go ahead and circle certain areas here uh, within this app to turn off or make inaccessible some of the controls, not turn off, but make them inaccessible. So that's one way I could do this, okay? So I could go ahead and gray out various areas. Then when I went ahead and started the uh, video, it's gonna ask me to uh, go ahead and enter a passcode. I'm going to choose one, two, three, four, five, six. It's going to ask me to do it a second time just to make sure that I like that. Now guided access is started. I go ahead and touch the video and it go goes ahead and starts up. Okay, so um, you can see here the areas that are grayed out. Those are inaccessible for me if I go to touch them. One thing though, if you've used YouTube before, you, you know that at the end, uh, near the end of it, other apps, uh, other um, YouTube start popping up. And if I don't have those areas grayed out, the student that can go ahead and start touching on those, and it's gonna open those up. So even though I've turned off the controls here, it's gonna allow me to go into these other um, uh, YouTubes, which I, I may not, uh, YouTube videos, which I may not want the student to do. So I'm gonna show you another feature that um, you could go ahead and turn on within guided access that might work better uh, for um, your student. Um, again, keeping them within the video uh, itself. So uh, first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and start the video over, and then I'm gonna go ahead and start it up, but then I'm gonna go triple click really quick to get my I guided access, get into my guided access. And I'm going to go ahead and get rid of those areas I'd grayed out. 
And I'm gonna go down to the bottom left here. And you'll notice that there's these options here. If I touch those, there's all these other features that I can turn off that are more have to do with the iPad itself, not the app so much. Um, I can go ahead and turn off the sleep wake button. I can turn off the volume button so the student can't turn the volume up or down. Uh, I could change the, uh, turn off the motion. So um, when the student uh, turns the iPad upward or down, it doesn't change the, uh, whether it's in landscape, et cetera. Um, I can turn off the keyboard. So if I was in an app that took keyboard, uh, took type, uh, the keyboard would pop up in, this will keep the keyboard from popping up. I don't have to worry about it on this one, but I'm just gonna turn it off. But here on the touch one, if I turn that off, it grays out the whole screen. So no matter what pops up, uh, during the YouTube video, uh, regardless, the student cannot touch it and access um, anything on the screen. So that might work really, really well for you. One other thing that's down here is you may want to uh, only have the user be in, be in the app for a certain period of time. Um, so it might be the length of it, maybe just parts of the video, but you could set that right here, okay? So I'm gonna go ahead though, and just have um, the touch and the other ones um, turned off. And then I'm gonna go ahead and resume the video. I see crazy what I'm about to say. Sometimes she's here, you can take a break. Okay, so now if I was using that, um, uh, I wouldn't be able to get out of that without, again, triple clicking, and then I'd have to know the passcode. Again, if I put in the passcode, it takes me back out and allows me to be able to turn off or resume that video within guided access. So I could go ahead here, I could end it, and I would be out of guided access itself. So um, yeah, I hope that's helpful when it comes to what might work best for your students, whether it's graying out certain areas um, what, within guided access to turn off certain settings, um, or to just go ahead and use the touch uh, feature to be able to make the whole screen inaccessible to the student. So yeah, um, I hope uh, this is helpful to you um, and uh, look forward to seeing you again soon at uh, another uh, tech tip. Take care.